Hello everyone, my name is Dustin Lint, and welcome back to episode 41 of my Dungeon of the Endless Let's Play. So, I'm starting off on the start screen again. That's because the game, A, first of all, has updated. But I also chose not to continue my uh, other Let's Play. I did have some pre-recorded episodes of those ones, but I thought it was more important to get content of the new patch out as soon as possible. And although it says uh, 0 0.4.5 down the corner there, the bigger update was 0 0.4.4, .4, which is so aptly named Select Hero. So some of the changes and additions they made were the first foundation stone of their form of persistence in this game, where uh, you can unlock heroes in the dungeon and you can select your starting heroes or keep the random option. Um, they've added three community items, such as the Lit Saber, the King's Armor, and Nano Bros. Very interested to see what those are. They've added two new tracks, and they've added some sound effects. They've filled some tooltip descriptions, and they've implemented acrylic characters in the game fonts. Uh, as far as balancing goes, this is probably one of the bigger sections for me, personally, but, um... They've increased power for Hickenshaw and Sarah. Very big thumbs up for me. I thought that they were kind of a little bit underpowered um, before. And they've reduced the level up cost for Hickenshaw. That's also, I didn't real I haven't played as Hickenshaw for a very long time, so I didn't realize that that was a problem, but awesome. They've increased the life and or defense of mobs Hydra, Golem, and Mini Golem. That kind of terrifies me, depending on what went on which guys and they've updated the targeting system by prioritizing golems that is a huge huge deal because I'm not sure if anyone watching this has played on the previous patch version but it would suck so much if you had a golem make it to one of your major module rooms and you had one of those uh... what are they called uh... I think I'll call them core crunchers, but I'm not sure what the official name is. If you had one of those core crunchers just slowly walking through your room and the golems would just smash at your major module while your heroes ignored it and went for the core cruncher instead, that would really suck. But now that they've changed that prioritization, that is awesome in my opinion. Uh, they tweaked some of the item power and costs. I'll see what I think of that when I see how they've changed that. They've increased the power of skills Neuralite Sun, Placebo, and First Aid. And they've increased the power of Auto Dock Shards module. That I'm a huge fan of because before, in the last patch, they had gone nerfed and I wasn't really a huge fan of them anymore, but they might actually be very, very viable now since they've updated it. Um, as far as bug fixes go, they fixed a bug where a hero and a monster can be blocked chasing each other if they have some the same speed, which I believe is the reason why my characters would stop moving sometimes when I was playing, which if that is the case, big thumbs up again. They fixed a bug where the cryo capsule and the death vector kept respawning after the save load, which I am didn't realize was a problem, but I'm glad they they fixed that, and they fixed a bug with the upgrade module's health bar height, and they fixed a bug related to the lights on major modules. With all that being said and done, let's start a new game here, and okay, so this is what either the random or choose your starting heroes is. And I like that they give them like little stat bars and game stats. Oh, I guess that's how many fours that they've made it through, deaths and completions. Yes, and uh, let's see here. Hmm. <laughs> Sarah Numes has been unlocked. You can now send this hero to a gruesome death whenever you want. Oh, that is. I'm not always going to do terrible with them. Okay, so Sarah Numes, obviously the most health, him the most wit, and this is the most balanced character. I kind of like the idea of taking Max O'Kane and Opbot if I have that option. 
And so you know what? Let's be completely random here and just do random for the first time. I believe the way unlocking characters works in this now. I'm just going to do too easy, just so I can actually hopefully make it through a let's play. Um, I believe the way that unlocking characters works now is you have to have them for either at least three floors or um, have them until the end of the game. Which is kind of interesting, but we'll see how that goes. Industry, obviously, to start off with, and that's right, Hotbot doesn't start off with Operate, so we may as well keep him doing what he's doing. I'm going to here, another excellent room. Well, oh, nope, not dealing with dust factories. I, I'm, I do not want to deal with those right now. Um, okay, yeah, so we have all those. We have our prisoner prod. I might have Sarah Numaz on this for right now. And then, um, yeah, prisoner prod. Is there only the four slots in there? That's fine. One, two, three, four. Yeah, no slots available in that room. Oh, plus I wouldn't have had enough anyways, even if I did. Okay, so we'll keep on moving. We found ten dust. Okay, I like that. And let's, can I level up bot bot? Yes, I can. And he gets operate. Okay. Sarah Numaz, you are going to be the one exploring now. So you go in there, you go in there. And let's keep searching. Not as big of a fan of the game. Why do you tease me with this? Uh, oh, okay. Tactical HUD. I've never actually gone this, but I've always wanted to. Auto dock shards. Now. Is that it? I thought it was more before, actually, but. Maybe I'm just matching things. Three very good viable options right off the bat. I think I have to get Tesla module. That's just something I have to get. And what's in here? Hostile creatures. Okay. How about enemies found? No enemies found, so you should be able to handle that by yourself while I light up that room. And then we will continue searching through here and I should probably level you up at least once. Okay, you get dash, that's awesome. And what's in here? An item. Big fan of that. And his kitchen gloves. May as well just give that to Sarah Numaz right now, I think. And no, I'm not trying to implement because she's a woman that she should be wearing the gloves, the kitchen gloves to be exact, but that is something that I think would benefit her at the moment because she's the one exploring and taking out creatures and we now unlock this room. That is excellent. Um, we'll explore one more room and then we'll try leveling someone up. Okay, maybe Opbot again. Sure, Opbot. And you... Did you get that just now or did you have that before? I can't remember. Either way. Tesla module one unlocked. Awesome. Oh, and an enemy wave incoming. I might want to have Opbot make it into here. Or maybe Sarah Numez will be fine all by herself. And she is absolutely fine all by herself. Amazing the difference between easy or too easy and easy mode. The fact that Sarah Numez, who probably wouldn't be able to handle any of those things by herself before, can now handle any of those guys by herself. Er, let's go with that one first and then enemy waves incoming, yes. That guy's a little bit tougher and I think he's actually the only one. Yeah, he's the only one so you can actually go back into there. And... Okay, what do I want to do now? Well, I should check to see if there's anything worthwhile on this. Auto dock shards, food replicator, tear gas. All very good things to have. So I think I'm going to do this, because as far as I know, the only things that are able to attack these uh, major modules here are the. Ba -ba -ba -ba, forget what they're called, the beetle guys. So let's just get that open. We find our. Merchant, it's Bandleader's Baton, Rapier, and Six Gun. Bandleader's Baton, I wish I could get, but I definitely 
cannot get that. Uh, let's just shut down that one so that way Sarah Numaz can get this. I think that will benefit her quite a bit. There we go. And if I can get Ben Lear's baton, that would be great. If I can't, then that's not the end of the world. I really I can't believe I haven't been keeping this in mind, but I really should be keeping in mind the fact that I need to be saving up my food. Tyrias or Autodoc Shards. Hmm. Let's get auto dock shards. And hopefully that won't be one of the biggest mistakes I made. Tissel module, you can wait for a floor. And let's go up here and maybe over here maybe. Yeah. And let's open up this door. Okay. The another item. That's always good. Any enemies? Nope. Restrainer. What do you do again? A lot of defense, a lot of health, attack cooldown, and health regen. Hmm. Hmm. Oh, it actually increases the attack cooldown, so you get a less attack. Okay, that changes things up a little bit. For such a reason, I always thought that that did the opposite thing, but um, with that in mind, I think I'll still keep it because honestly, a little bit less attack to keep her alive longer is probably still better for us. And we will go down here. Okay. Um, Golgi, sure. What do you have at the start? Do you have operate? You, I believe that's operate. So Gogi, you can operate right now. Actually, do I want her operating for that or for this? That's a good question. Let's have her. Nah, we'll keep her on industry. Oh, oh wait, no, 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 no. I had the wrong person selected there. Okay, you go up here. You still have at least another three rooms. So that's almost almost guaranteed another uh, item right off the bat there. Not necessarily guaranteed, but almost guaranteed. We are going to level you up when you get the web thing. Okay, and uh, ba -ba -ba -ba. what do we get for you next? Or what do we... Do? Right, we were going to go down here. We were going to see what we can get from this. We could get Dust Field, Prisoner Prod 2, or Tear Gas if I had enough. But I don't have enough right now. What did I unlock again? I unlocked Auto Dock Shards. That is going to be a thing that will be useful for me in the future. But for now, and assuming that is still true, I'm going to open up this door find that there's nothing in there except for an item and more dust oh but okay so we'll crutchy okay that's actually super useful so you can get crutchy and make your way into here you can make your way into here and you can make your way into here and defend this guy for the time being everything's making their way up to her that's not great but I think that, yeah, that's the end of the enemy wave. That is awesome. We'll go back to that setup right there. And you can go down to here and see what we can, right, I know what we can get and I know what I want to try and get. I want to try and get tear gas. It's awesome that we're able to do all this right now. And if what is said to be true by someone else still holds true, that would be awesome, especially if this is the last room, because then I basically get a free upgrade if this is the last room, but it is not, unfortunately. Just a few more enemies. Not great, but not the end of the world, either. How about enemy waves? Nope, no enemy waves. We are fine then, for the time being. We'll just continue opening doors. And 
enemy waves. Nope. I kind of hope that this isn't the last door, but I have a feeling that it is. And it is. The last door has been opened. Tear gas has been unlocked. Just to see what we could have gotten if we were able to. We could have gotten Prisoner Prod 3, Suppressive Firebot, Neurostun, or Food Replicator. Food Replicator food replicator 2 would have been awesome, but that's not something that we can get right now, unfortunately. And, oh god, um, I'm going to do something probably very, very unadvisably, so, and how much do I need to get the band leader's baton because band leader's baton is 13 and the minus attack cooldown 0.3 hmm I think Bandleer's Baton is so incredibly worth it that I'm going to sell this and then power down your room and then we're going to buy Bandleer's Baton for you and then be on our merry way to the exit. Hopefully not lose because of my poor decision making of putting all of our eggs in one basket and by one basket I mean I said no, just down there for now. And okay, 20 to level you up, 25 to level you up. That would leave me with very little food, which I'm not sure if I want to do that per se, so I might just level you up. 35 food left. I feel more comfortable with that and having her a bit stronger. So, wait, no, 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 no. Golgi, you can, you can stay in here. No one said that you had to leave. And we'll pick this up. And we will make our way out of here. And hopefully. I don't get completely swarmed slash overrun. But I think between the prisoner prods and everyone being upgraded, especially with that baton, things will be better for us. Um, okay, so things are attacking those guys. I might just send you two up in here. What is getting attacked? Because something is getting attacked, but I have no idea what it is. And we made it to the next floor without basically any problems, surprisingly enough. Okay, 11 minutes, 25 seconds. Not my best time ever, but it, this is not a race. This is just assuring me to do the best I can do. And thank you so much for watching, everyone. If you made it to this point in the video, feel free to support in the form of a like or subscribe to me if you want to be notified whenever I upload new videos of either of this or of any other kind. And until next time, have a good one, everyone.